Well, I was wrong about the oil, uh, the P pump not getting oil. It definitely had oil in it, I guess. You know, sitting on the workbench overnight, all the oil came out of it. So the oil field feed line was not the problem. So whatever happened, it must be all in the top end here. So something happened with these injector pumps or something for metal to be coming out of it. But today, I've got some packages. So uh, I got some stuff from Fast Fuel Pumps. Now, before I t uh, tell you what they sent, now, originally when I thought their pump went bad, which was putting out the metal shavings coming out of the return line of the P pump, you know, but uh, like if you watch my previous videos, basically the metal was just back flushing into the filters. I figured out what was wrong, but they reached out to me and I'll be honest, at first I was like really nervous. I'm like, oh crap, like, you know, I thought maybe I pissed them off because I was talking bad about their pump or something like that without taking it apart until I figured out exactly what happened. So I got really nervous when they reached out to me and wanted to call me and stuff. But either way, they reached out to me. They wanted to help me out after that video and getting me properly set up for this P pump. So after I told them what pump I have, they were pretty sure that this pump, the what, uh, like 100 gallon per hour pump, would not last for a long time running on straight waste motor oil. So what they did was they sent me a brand new, I believe this is 145 gallon per hour pump, but it has a different size pump in it. So uh, this was the smaller one. This is uh, geared up, so basically it could push more pressure. This wasn't designed for high pressure. Uh, this one is, so that's why they sent me a new pump. And they also gave me all the hardware. So to change the, the return pressure, so it's 45 PSI for the P-pump. Also all the O-rings, all the adapters and nipples to adapt to the P-pump for their fuel line which i actually already had i just did not use it because i didn't have the fittings and they sent me a new set of uh, fuel filters also so definitely a huge shout out to uh, fast fuel pumps for uh, sending me the proper size pump and all the hardware to get that uh, original system to work for the p-pump and they also sent me a lot of this stuff because they were really interested to see how their pump would perform running on straight waste motor oil like how the uh, fuel filters will perform and the pump so like i was telling him before my pump i use to go pick up raw motor oil uses the same kind of pump as their system here it's the same type of like ring gear pump is what i call these so this pump i've been using for over six years it's the same exact style pump inside here it just has a bigger 120 volt ac electric motor and uh, so this uh, pump can pump 100 PSI at 20 gallons per minute of straight gear oil is what this was designed for. So all the years, picking up raw motor oil, transferring uh, oil between all the totes and everything, I've probably pumped with that over 40,000 gallons. And all it has is a screen on the end. So all kinds of dirt and grass and stuff, whatever can squeeze through that screen has gone through that pump and it's still working to this day. So like I said, the kit even comes with a new check valve in case that wasn't sealing up properly. Uh, everything that they thought maybe was the problem, they sent out to me. So now I'm going to get the Stinky Pete up on the lift and start putting all this stuff on here, running the new fuel line from the filter uh, from the pump to the injection pump and everything and get that all done i still don't know if i'm going to send that out to get rebuilt or order a new pump either way i'll figure something out later i'm also going to have to uh tomorrow is uh, uh ship these out i found a company that will uh rebuild these uh and change the pop pressure for the p-pump and everything uh, I got the new pump up on there. I also use Permatex between uh, the pump and the base with the brand new um, O-rings. Just the double protection, you know, with a new ball valve in there also, the check valve internally between the pump and the base. I also put the new filters on. I also put the new nipple in with the proper spring and a new check valve ball in there also. So that way there's no back flush from the P-pump back through the pump every time I shut it off.
So once this is primed up, it should stay primed and not lose it. I got uh, the main fuel line hooked up. Mostly ran, I still gotta zip tie it. Well, I got the fuel line all zip tied up and ran. So uh, I just got uh, the fittings and stuff to do on the P-pump when I get it. The only thing left I want to add to this is a pressure sensor. So just up here, there's a little uh, quarter, uh, 1 8 inch threaded piece there. All that's doing is just telling me the pressure of the fuel line itself. So if that drops below so many PSI, then I know these filters are clogged up and I got to change them. So later I'll show you when I add another gauge in the, the cab and a few other things. But uh, that's it for tonight. I don't have any other parts.